Are your feet always cold and just no matter what, you can't get them to warm up? Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm gonna to go over my heated socks and my heated insoles. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you which ones I would recommend. I'll also give you some tips on keeping your feet warm if you have poor circulation in your feet like me. Initially, I tried these Thermosel Pro Flex insoles with the removable batteries, and I had pretty good luck with them. They come with a remote, you can adjust the heat settings. Normally, I put them on high for the first little while and then dial them down to low. They do not last very long though. As you can see, the batteries eventually split. And I think it has to do with where they are located, which is right under your heel. Also, the way that the batteries go in, you have to flex them in at an angle and you're constantly stressing that battery. The battery is quite small for something that's putting out quite a bit of heat too, so you don't get very good battery life. The next pair I tried were these Dr. Warms. The battery is sealed in there. It's a much bigger battery, USB micro charging, and there's a little button there. Also came with a remote. This one still works. The button on this one broke, so these I can't use anymore. Rather than trying new insoles, I thought I would give these Snow Deer heated socks a try. Very convenient. Button, you turn them on here. High, medium, low. Press and hold for off. The reason I went with these were the reviews on Amazon, but also they use the same batteries as my Klein heated gloves. You can check out that video up here. With the heated insoles, I found that my feet were warm, but as soon as they died, I could feel that my feet had been sweating and then they start to get cold. So it's really important that you use these probably just on the medium or low setting. That way they'll last you most of the day. I suppose you could also bring another set and swap them out, but that means you'd have to take your foot out of your boot. Some of the places we ride, there's a cabin and sometimes somebody's already had the fire going so you can bring your insoles in there. I like to take my boots off sometimes, pull my socks up if they've slipped down, give my socks just a bit of time to dry. When I'm moving around, working hard on the sled, I get hot, my feet get warm, but then as soon as I stop for a break, sit down, have your lunch, my feet get cold. That sweat is not good for when it's cold out. In December, the temperature here in Alberta was really cold and I ended up buying a new set of snow boots just for walking around. I picked up these socks at the same time. I tested them on the walk and they do work really well. I had to turn them down to medium and then eventually low and then eventually I had to turn them right off. I have not tested these snowmobiling yet. The last few rides we went on, the temperature was really mild. I figured if I brought these, my feet would be just sweating and then they might actually get colder because of that. When I was testing these on my walk, I did notice that they're not as breathable as my Klein Mammoth socks, my big, heavy, warm socks that I normally wear in my snow boots. Say you don't wanna purchase all these electronic heated devices. Here's some tips that I've learned over the years to keep my feet warm. First of all, the boot. When you get home from a ride, you gotta take the insole out and get it dry. So many times I've forgotten to do that and I'm putting my boots on, getting ready for a ride and I notice that there's moisture up inside here from the previous ride, a week or even two weeks beforehand. And like I said before, that moisture mixed with the cold, it's just gonna make the problem that much worse. What I've been doing lately is I take my boot, I put it in the front passenger side, right up underneath the dash, I crank the heat to high on the floor vent for about 10 minutes before I get to the parking lot. Rather than just jumping out of your truck and your sneakers and unloading your sled, your feet start to go numb because it's cold out. The first thing I do is I take my boots out from underneath the dash where they're being heated by the floor vent and I put my warm socks on, put my onesie on, put my boots on. And then when I'm moving around unloading the sled, I start to get circulation through my feet and I start the ride with warm feet. Out of all these products so far, my highest recommendation would be for these Dr. Warm insoles. Just be really careful with that button not to break it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.